It's easy to think of devices like smartphones or tablets as nuisances or something to kill time when you're bored. But students in several classrooms are using them to improve their learning. So in the face of conflicts of neighbors, Brigham Young decided to abandon Navo and establish... Zoe Clute is sharing information with her classmates, but she's not reading it out of a book. It's an iPad. And she discovered the material online. Students in Matt Greco's class in Alki Middle School are in the BYOD program, or Bring Your Own Device. iPads, smartphones, uh, laptops, that students can have instant information at their fingertips. When the teacher feels it's appropriate, students pull out their devices. Aaron Newman uses his laptop to take notes. I found that I've had the skill to be able to um, quickly change back from each screen or the presentation that's going on and I can take notes on it. Okay. Connecting to the school's wireless internet network, the students also conduct research. The internet resources aren't replacing textbooks or library books, they're enhancing them. And so the internet's a really useful resource for that because I can research anything I want to in class and still be paying attention. And so they are able to find speeches and documents and letters that are written that the books wouldn't have. And so it allows it a lot faster without leaving the classroom and staying in our own environment. The online research is filtered through the district's internet system, which filters out any potentially distracting or negative content. And the students help the teacher come up with a code of conduct to keep themselves from going off track. We know it's not useful to our learning and we know we have to be paying some kind of attention. Of course, not every student has a smart device, so Mr. Greco makes desktop computers available in his classroom. But he says the students don't often have use for them. Yeah, there's been more of a camaraderie in the classroom, um, using things and saying, I have this, this student may not, and they can use that together. Basically, anybody that has a device, people will migrate to it, and they do that in their social lives, too. When somebody has their new iPad or anything, people come and look at it and want to play with it and that kind of stuff. And so it works really well in the classroom, too, because somebody will have information and want to share it. The sharing of information makes the lessons move quickly and keeps kids engaged. I think it's really a great privilege. I think most schools should have it. Right now, the BYOD program is in its pilot stage. It's in effect at Alki, Skyview, and Columbia River High Schools. The school district is looking at expanding the program for next year. For In the Know, I'm Mark Ray.